Viewer discretion is advised. Unfortunately, being a part of Twitter means that occasionally I have to see dumb things or be involved in shit I really don't care about. Later on, I'll talk about how progressive Twitter was mad at Mark Hamill for doing a tweet called Missed Opportunities. That's for another time. This, unfortunately, is once again streamer, Twitch, and Twitter related. Someone by the name of Moan wrote a tweet that was considered controversial. Because on Twitter, it's very progressive. So anything that doesn't really sort of toot the horn of women and congratulates them constantly, if it even holds up a mirror to female nature, toxic femininity, or basic manipulation that women are keen on doing, to the point of where some women don't even realize that they're being manipulative, uh, it's toxic. So this woman called Moan wrote something to the effect of, if you're a streamer and you have to get near naked for Twitter pics, we all know what you're doing, LOL. I don't see guy streamers showing their dick prints to get a girl target audience. Quit being nasty and take normal pics. You sexualize yourself, but will whine about horny men in your DMs. I'm not nervous. I'll read a bitch. I will read you to filth. Where the fuck is the lie? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my fuck, this bitch just read every chick who does this shit on Twitter to filth. Oh my, you deserve an applause, girl. That was for real. That reminds me of once, uh, I think Professor Q sent me a clip of Amaranth talking about creepy guys in her DMs. And it's like, really, queen? Really, queen? So how's the streaming life treating you? And I was like, I mean, it's okay. Just some weirdos in my DMs. He's like, weirdos messaging me, huh? Tell them your dad has seven guns ready to go. And I was like, whoa. Why do you have so many guns? And he was like, your grandfather died and I got all the guns. I guess taking photos and videos with your ass hanging out isn't the reason for creepy DMs. Twitch thought logic. Soon, we machines will rule you all. Her whole Twitter is literally like sex. It, it is. Her whole Twitter is nothing but her sexualizing herself. The fact she has the balls to complain about creepy guys in her DMs is amazing. Because this is all you post. If you were to throw outside a bag of nuts, a bag of fucking nuts, planters peanuts, and then get mad at the fact squirrels were in your backyard eating the nuts. All these fucking squirrels. What are they doing here? <laughs> I'm just trying to sprinkle planters peanuts. Like what? For real. This is truly the problem with all of these girls that sexualize themselves to make money. They sit there and then have an issue with men treating them like sexual objects. Well, honey, if you don't want someone to talk about your ass cheeks, maybe, I don't know, put on some motherfucking pants. And I don't mean yoga pants that are flesh colored. Don't play that game with me, girl. I'm not stupid. I'm an average dude. Other motherfuckers could get high off of this. He ain't doing nothing for me. I don't care until a woman's in my bed and has signed a contractual agreement that she won't sue me for my sexual depravity. So of course this tweet then turned into a fucking war on Twitter. Literally a war. And unfortunately, Twitter's not the place to have this flex because the only thing that's gonna happen is women are gonna pour in to be in support of other women, especially these stupid ass feminists. And the only thing worse than a modern feminist is a lesbian modern feminist because they don't even understand what the fuck feminism is. Their idea of feminism is a whole lot of rights for me, none for men because men are bad. Men do everything wrong. Oh, shut the fuck up. You don't even know how to back into a driveway. I don't want to hear your shit. Now nah, she about to pull off. Got your license plate. She trying to creep out. Oh, she's still clenching her shit. Oh, oh! And the first thing you always see from these, like, these chicks who say this shit is like, ah, they have a right to sexualize themselves, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it's fine for a chick to take a character in a video game and literally turn it into a sexual costume. Like, I've seen chicks on Twitter. Twitter is so full of this. If you want to see, like, naked girls, make a Twitter account and just follow one cosplay girl. <laughs> 
you will find <laughs> seas of them. You will find cosplay girls that'll take a character that doesn't even have a sexy costume, and then they'll like put on a banana string bikini and say that they're this character and they're selling lewds. These girls are so opportunistic and hungry for making money. Like they're they're money hungry. The only thing these girls get hot for is money. Fluffy! As soon as Game of Thrones came back or something, there was literally cosplay girls on my feed for Billy, because as we all know, I have to be the character Billy, and I fucking hate that Twitter account, to be honest. There were girls on my feed already selling lewds and nudes of the female chick from Game of Thrones. They were ass naked. And I'm sitting there like, so this is fine. But then the second a game developer makes a female character that's remotely sexy, all of a sudden these women start screaming, it's sexualized, it's misogyny, take it down, change it, this is outdated. But then when a chick takes a character and then puts on a G-string bikini and says she's, I don't know, a Time Lord, these same women are going, it's women empowerment. She can wear what she wants to make money. And if you're against it, you're a misogynist. It's like, my God, you have no sense of fucking logic. Why are you breathing oxygen? It's misogynist. Do us all a favor. Stop breathing it in. Moan then goes on to say body positivity is fine. Sex work is fine. I agree. You want to be a sex worker? Go for it. But don't, like, dance around the issue to try and have all the perks of not being a sex worker while exploiting that whole fucking medium. Wild to me. I have defended. I have fucking defended titty streamers so much. So much. I'm like, who gives a fuck, dude, if they're doing softcore camming? Ah, who cares? I care now. Funny that... I have to deal with so much bullshit. Girls have to deal with so much bullshit from doing porn. And, uh, these girls are literally softcore camming. They're literally softcore camming. A lot of them talk shit on cam girls and they're like, I'm not a fucking cam girl. All I do is do this on Twitch and then the little boys come. Like, I think it's fucking funny that you can sit here and basically profit off of the back of women that have to go through so much bullshit. You got all these ideas from cam girls. You stole all this bullshit from cam girls, but you get to do it in like a nice safe space and people love you and think that you're not a fucking slut and you don't get discriminated against jobs. Twitch isn't gonna ban you unless you're showing your fucking pussy. And even then, there's girls who get away with it for like a really long time. For real. It's like these chicks want to have it all. They want to be able to exploit that end of the spectrum to make the money, but they also want respectability. It doesn't work. You're either a drug dealer or you're fucking not. You cannot be a drug dealer and go, well, I'm an entrepreneur, baby. I sell crack to kids. You know, for real, this is crack for kids. Granted, it's ass crack, but crack nonetheless. But when a woman does it, it's fine. Remember that, you misogynist. My God, I got to give it up to Indigo White. For real. Indigo White is one of the realest bitches I fucking know. Indigo, oh my god. I'm sure you'll hear this. Big ups to you, girl. She keeps that shit real. I remember her original Twitch account said professional cock sleeve. I lost my fucking mind. I said if this girl didn't have a boyfriend, she'd have to have a restraining order on me. Hit me with it. Just give it to me straight. I came a long way just to see you. Indigo. Least you can do is level with me. What are my chances? Not good. <laughs> and she keeps it that real. She knows exactly what she's doing. She knows exactly the medium she's in. And she keeps it real. And another thing I like about her, and what's sad is she doesn't get any respect because she's a real sex worker versus all these wannabe sex worker Twitch girls, is the fact that whenever anyone hits on Indigo White, she lets you know off the bat she has a boyfriend. All these chicks on Twitch and Twitter, they will pretend that they are fucking single because they know it gets more money out of men. That's not marketing, motherfucker. For real. How come this is fine, but when Electronic Arts and Bioware put out a fake fucking trailer for Anthem and got exposed, everybody wasn't cool with it. But when Twitch streamers, I mean tit streamers, market themselves as single to try and make more money from men, it's just good business. It's not bad marketing. It's not bullshit. And how the fuck is being ass naked on most marketing? Really? Really? Then I need to tell everybody in college who's going to school for marketing, get fucked. Get naked. That's where the real money's at. Anyway, let me get back on point.
Using naked or lewd pics as a video game streamer to gain attention, it, that's way gross. You're showing semi-nudes to minors on purpose. If you don't do this, great. But some do, and it discredits actual hardworking streamers. Once again, I'm gonna agree with Moan, for real. Ammo does is she essentially takes these little photos of herself and straight up, this is sexualization. This is selling sex. Back in the day, you used to have to pay to see this sort of stuff on adult websites. It's softcore porn. It's softcore. That's all this is. Look at me. I'm I'm looking. I'm in my little bikini. Look at my booty. Ooh, ooh. Subscribe to my Patreon and you can see this special Patreon tier stuff. For God's sakes, the broad literally gave away a shirt that had a print of her boobs on it. Yeah, that's not sexual. Nothing sexual here. Okay. Yeah, she's. this is just good marketing. This is marketing. Used to be something you only saw on Model Mayhem or adult sites. Now we're pretending that this shit is Twitch friendly. The fact she can do this and stay on Twitch is mind-blowing. Now, of course, after Moan put out this stuff, she then was met with a lot of resistance from a lot of female streamers. Some chicks actually know what's up, for real. There's some female streamers that know what the fuck's going on. And they keep it real because they don't really give a fuck to be on the good side of these Twitch streamers. I mean, these tit streamers. Be proactive and think, all right, what is this platform? What do we want it to be? Let's lay the ground rules. Let's have the terms of service. When we see something we don't like, let's act on it. Instead of being like, well, this is happening. It's not really a big deal right now. So we're not going to worry about that. We're only going to worry about it when it becomes a big deal. And now that Twitch thoughts are a big deal, they're still doing nothing. They're still doing nothing to, like, they're not, okay, they're not doing nothing, but they're doing the bare minimum to slap them on the wrist and say, oh, no, you shouldn't do that, like, because blah, blah, blah. People are getting banned for mistakenly thinking that, you know, they said the N-word on stream when they said idiots, but bitches are here showing their feet and using their tits as puppets and they're not getting banned. Like, come on, what's going on, Twitch? Who works for you? Who do you have working for you? I feel like they literally have a circle jerk in their staff room every morning. I feel like Twitch is just one big fucking circle jerk. Oh wait, am I live? Oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh no, I'm live. <gasps> How do I stop my stream? I've never streamed before. Oh no, I hope I get partnered. So big ups to those girls. But then there are the other chicks that seem to not understand that just because it's a woman doesn't mean you have to support it. I mean, for real, if guys did that, it'd be called toxic masculinity. If a dude did something dumb and we were like, support all men, you know what the media would do? Group of toxic males trying to support a alleged rapist in a court case today. You know, something like that would happen. We'd be labeled something truly horrendous and horrible. So when you see small female streamers trying to come in and go to bat for other female streamers because women need to stick together like it's some sort of gender war. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. Who are you to be a gatekeeper? Fuck you, gatekeeping's there for a damn reason. Banks, they're gatekeepers. They don't give out loans to any motherfucker that walks in. Banks gatekeep the money to make sure that they don't give it out to someone who can't pay it back and then, oh, well, you know, we loaned out some money to Billy Crystal Meth and, uh, you didn't make good on the payments, so you're going to find your savings account is a little lower. Sorry about that. Your mutual fund. For God's sakes. They gatekeep neighborhoods. If you can't afford to live in an area or you have a sketchy background, they don't want you there. For God's sakes. Would you be fine with the lack of gatekeeping? Like, when pedophiles move into a the neighborhood, they have to tell everyone they were a convicted fucking pedophile. Uh, isn't that a form of gatekeeping? Is there... You're going to tell me there's something wrong with gatekeeping. You need it there. You wouldn't sit there and go, I just found out that uh, Charlie down the street was convicted for diddling kids like 20 times. What? Oh, my God. Why didn't anyone tell us? Well, they decided to stop gatekeeping the pedophiles. Like, for real, sometimes this shit's a good thing. And it should be in place. If you want to be an adult sex worker, then be it. Don't walk the goddamn line. That's all most of us have an issue with. A line that Twitch is sketchy on dealing with anyway, for God's sakes. If I had a dollar for every time Twitch's TOS just decided to work. You know what is a big partnered female streamer? Twitch TOS don't do anything. If you're not a partnered streamer, Twitch TOS will get rid of you so fucking fast your head'll spin. Let me end it here. At one point, some girl called Laura something. I'm not even going to give her last name because uh, for now on, I'm doing something called No Free Clout.
Yeah, I picked it up from low tier God. It's that's my new thing now. No free clout. You will not get any clout from Gundam now. I've been too kind to thoughts. From now on, there will be less kindness. In the sense of letting people know who the hell they are. Because most of these chicks will take any sort of publicity, even if it's bad. Anyway, this chick called Laura comes down on Mona, among other women. Now, the reason why I'm singling out this Laura chick is for this reason. She says, so you're saying someone can't do sex work and stream. People can only be one thing. Interesting. Blah, 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 blah. I'm saying don't make low quality streams by focusing on posting nudes instead of showing how to improve your streaming. If you want to do sex work, go ahead. But if your streams and video games, blah, 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 she's got a point. But why do you care? Do you understand how misogynistic it is to say that it discredits all actual hardworking female streamers? Uh, see, this is what I love about women. This is the beauty of women. Not all women. There's always exceptions to the rule. If you're here and you're agreeing with me, obviously you're exception to the rule. And I will need you to fill out a form because I don't know if you're not a tranny. You could be a dude with a dick. So I was explaining this to a guy one time and he said, wait a minute. I met this girl and she's like smoking hot. She's like at least a nine and she's chill. She's co totally cool. She's like not even a three crazy. I said, you're telling me you've met a girl, she's a nine hot, and she's like a two or a three crazy. He said, yeah, man, I like her a lot. I said, you should be careful. That's a dude, you're talking to a tranny. <laughs> so you got your, you got to be careful because down here below a four crazy and above an eight hot, you're probably talking to a dude. <laughs> but anyway, point being, the beauty of most women today is like they need praise for everything. Like the girl who wrote the algorithm to see the black hole or the event horizon. I remember briefly looking at it and not paying any attention because I don't really give a shit. You know, like what do I give a fuck about the event horizon of a black hole? Oh, wow. Things are spinning into the black hole so fast they're actually burning. That's how come we can see it. I don't care. I'm not going to see it. I'm not going to be there. I'm not going to be lost in time and space. This isn't Star Trek. The event horizon of a fucking black hole means nothing to me. Though theoretically quite interesting, and the implications could be staggering for possible alternate realities and so on and so forth, but who cares? Point being, when this chick came out, all these women were like praising it, going crazy, like this is a big win for women. And I'm like, how? She made it. You didn't do shit. You just made a Twitter post. Fuck you, bitch. You know, you get out of here. You don't see me like tweeting about LeBron James when he has some amazing game. You know, LeBron did it. We did it as men. LeBron. That's what I love about guys. Some guy could do something and other dudes are like, I don't give a fuck. I ain't got shit to do with me. Women, on the other hand, yeah, we did it, guys. You didn't do shit. You made a Pop-Tart. When one woman comes out and goes, you know what? This is kind of bullshit what chicks are doing. All the other women turn on her and immediately label her an internalized misogynist. One of the gayest fucking terms ever. Like, for real. Maybe, just maybe, she's, I don't know, telling the truth and your feelings don't fucking matter. Anyway, this Lord Chick goes, I don't know, dude, focus on your shit and let people live. Yeah. Now, this Lord Chick uh, obviously took some sexy photos of herself in a mirror. That was hard work, you know. Uh, all the photos she takes of herself on Patreon, that's content. I mean, she works so hard. She gets up, puts on her makeup, wears some lingerie, and has someone take some photos of her. I couldn't imagine how she'd get through her life. I used to think coal miners had a hard job till I saw Laura's Patreon. Uh, hey Bo, what's up? Um, yeah, I saw Aquaman and I saw one um, with the, the black blob monster that lived inside the guy. I forget what it's called. Is it called Venom? I think it's a, was it Venom? Is he an Avenger? Red Dead Redemption 2, what is that? As you saw in that beautiful little clip, our little Twitter hero here <laughs> exposed the fact she knew absolutely nothing about the Marvel Universe outside of the Avengers movies. <laughs> she literally didn't know who Venom was, what a symbiote was, and wondered if he was in the Avengers. Which would make you wonder, how could someone in nerd culture and does cosplay not know one of the greatest Marvel characters created by Todd McFarlane ever? Like, really? You see her doing cosplay of Tifa, but for some reason, she doesn't know who Venom is. And in the nerd lexicon, Venom is far more popular than Tifa is. I'm sorry. Who the fuck thinks about Tifa from Final Fantasy VII anymore, except for like a hardcore weeb that works at Dunkin' Donuts? 
This basically proves that most of these Twitch dots don't really care for the culture, but they care that it makes them money. She probably doesn't even really know who the fuck Tifa is. She's even doing Fortnite cosplay. It harkens back to that other girl who's supposed to be a video game streamer. And then she pops on and goes, what's Red Dead Redemption 2? And it's kind of like, okay, wow. That's like going to someone like, oh yeah, I really like guns. And then some other guy goes, hey, what do you think of the M4 assault rifle? And you're like, what's an M4 assault rifle? Is that in the Avengers? And I saw the pictures she took. My God, one day the Da Vinci Code will be figured out if we analyze enough of Laura's photos because they're that damn good. Oh my God. Now I saw a tweet from her, right? Her house is loaded with cats, by the way. You see one mere picture, there's like seven goddamn cats, dude. I was like, what the, what, really? Anyway, when you look at this girl's pictures, here's the funny part. Her toes are fucking pixelated. This is why, you know, when I was going through the Billy account, I thought it was the funniest shit I seen in a while. She literally pixelated her toes because, because gentlemen, her toes are content. Are you serious? When you think of like, I don't know, a movie, a video game, you know, content, a DLC, her toes are on that level of quality. Johnny Carson level stuff here. Now, when people ask her why were her toes pixelated, she then says, I'm not giving free content to all the foot fetish guys laughing my ass off. I need to tell Indigo White she needs to pixelate her toes because she's giving away free content apparently. I, I get it, it's not really my fetish, but the fact that this chick thought that her toes were this valuable, literally her feet are money. These are the girls you're dealing with here. These are the women. They don't operate in logic. They don't operate in reality. They operate in her body's her hobby, her body's her business. This is all she's got to sell. This is all most of them got to sell. Because if you've seen some of these Twitch streamers, their content is sub fucking par. If they're not sitting there and picking their ass, not literally, they're waiting for people to sub and then they're trying to sell you dances. Uh, you know, I told you about that. I heard free subs. Free subs? Using Twitch Prime, am I right? <laughs> oh, yeah. speaking of Twitch Prime, we need seven more subs for a dance. Get your wallets out, chat. It's worth it. Thank you for this public announcement. All right, I'm just gonna do this braid and then we can go. This is the same sort of shit I used to see in strip clubs back when I went to them when I was younger. Then I got tired of it. Cause essentially strip clubs bored me to piss. And the second a chick got finished dancing, the first thing they did was walk around to whatever guy was not at the damn, whatever thing, the dance stage, throwing money at him. So if you were at the bar with your back turned drinking, a stripper would literally come up to you, turn you around and go, did you like my dance? I'm like, what dance? I didn't see a dance. Did you dance in my glass of Jack Daniels? I don't think so, honey. Well, if you like my dance, you should give me money. I'm like, I didn't see you dancing. Why would I pay you for dancing? I wasn't looking. I just bought a drink and I was thinking about the fact my marriage went to shit. Do you mind? I'm having a crisis here. It's the same thing, except from the safety of their own home and they have to put out less. They don't have to dance. Well, they do dance where they get the sub goal, but I assure you her dancing ain't gonna be on the level of like a chick who knows how to pole dance. And don't even get me started on the girls who pole dance on Twitch. 90% of them are trash. They're like horrible pole dancers. It's literally just thirsty guys throwing money at a screen and some kids who just don't know better for some reason. The day's gonna come when the chickens come home to roost. The day when some politician comes home and finds out their son has been charging thousands of dollars on bits to give to some Twitch streamer that was spinning around on a pole or dancing, and then the hammer's gonna drop. And I hope it hits soon. I really do. Because most of these girls are gonna end up like Velvet7. They're gonna lose their Twitch account and start crying because they got no other life skills. And before you even dare say shit to me about, well, you do YouTube, I do this shit to kill time. And at this point, I make videos because they make people laugh. All right, don't think there hasn't been a time where I thought about walking off into the sunset. It's been on my mind a lot lately. I mean, I'm beginning to figure out why Alpha Omega Sin left. You just get to the point where you're sick and tired of looking at dumb shit and raging out. 
I'd rather sit and play the piano. Good God almighty. Most of the women on Twitch, let's be real, that are IRL streamers, don't give a shit about gaming. Most of these women on the IRL section 10 years ago wouldn't be on Twitch. 15 years ago wouldn't even think about gaming. They'd be on Model Mayhem. They'd be on some website trying to promote their portfolio for model photos. They're only here because they know it's money. They know there's cash to be made. That's it. And it's under the guise of giving a shit about this community. They don't give a fuck about this community. Most of these girls don't even give a fuck to remember your name after you give a donation. Don't play. Be real with it. My God. And everybody gets mad at me for just pointing out the obvious. How is it me telling you the truth of problem? For God's sakes, a girl made $300,000 dancing the Dance Dance Revolution and didn't even buy the game. She was watching YouTube videos and made a quarter of a million dollars and then turns around and goes, I need an extra $80,000. Yeah, she gives a fuck about gaming. She gave so much a fuck about gaming. She made a quarter of a million dollars. Still didn't buy the console. Still didn't buy the game. Get the fuck out of here. Because I meant to make this funny and do a whole lot of points and stuff. Because I, I saved so many, so many stupid ass conversations. But in the end, I just, uh, you know, I just, I went into a harangue. I lost my cool. I apologize. I can't even use most of the Twitch clips that I have. I can't. Because if I do, the, the video is just going to get flagged. That's, is it Switch for you? Most of the shit these chicks are trying to defend, you can't even put on YouTube, unless you're a woman.